One last video. For this particular section, now what? Equations of lines with what? Given a point and what? Parallel or perpendicular to another line. Right, maybe you have this one, and you want to draw one up here, and you want them to be parallel. Or maybe you have this one, and you want to draw one right here, and they need to be perpendicular. Let's go. We have a game plan. First, we're going to find the proper slope. When I say that, I mean, if we're looking for parallel, then that means we're going to find the slope, and we're going to choose that slope. If we're looking for perpendicular, then we're going to find the slope, and then we're going to take the negative reciprocal of that slope. And then we'll use point slope or y equals mx plus b. You see, it's really not that hard. It's that same old two-step. Shall we? What do we first need to do? We need to find the proper slope. And to find the proper slope, we're going to take this guy and we're going to find the slope of that line. You've had a video about that. That was from last, last, last time. So we're going to go and we're going to put it in y equals mx plus b. Because you say we chose one way and we stuck with that way. So then, what I want to do with this guy is I'm going to subtract that x. Subtract that x. And then, when I do, I'm going to have a minus 3y. And then that guy over there, since they're not like terms, you're going to leave it alone. That's going to be minus x plus 7. Yes, the only thing I did is I moved that over there. And now we need to get rid of that minus 3 in front of that y. So we're going to divide. What you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. I divide this side by minus 3. And equivalently divide this side by minus 3. Minus 3. Oh, looks like I messed up on my colors, although that should have been yellow there, see? Divide! Uh, uh. And left on the left side, I'm left with y by himself. The desired effect, minus over minus is mas. One third of what? X. And then, plus and minus is minus seven thirds. And I'm just going to leave that alone because I don't care about that y. Because I'm looking for the mm, slope. That's one third. Do I want to use that one? I'm trying to find the equation of line that's perpendicular. You know what it is. We need the negative reciprocal of this. So then the slope we're going to use, I'll do this. Little sign for perpendicular. My perpendicular slope is going to be minus 3 over 1. It's the negative reciprocal, but I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to call that a minus 3. T he, T he. So now what do we have? We have a slope and a point. So then, right in here, in between these two separational flowers, I'll go ahead and owl. Owl? Who? Who? Ooh. Ooh. That's a pigeon. I don't know how I'm going to work that into this hole. No. Um, I have my mm, slope is minus 3. And I have my point, which is 4, 2. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? They gave it to us. And we were like, thank you. So then... Bam. Let's keep on keeping on. Which one do you want to use? Do you want to use point slope? Or do you want to use the backdoor method? The y equals mx plus b method? It is your choice. Point slope, because they gave us a point and a slope. <laughs> yes. So then, that's y minus y1 is equal to mm, slope x minus x1. And until you're a professional, you should probably label these x1, y1, and mm, slope. So let's go da da do do. y minus my y1 deuces. And then, that's equal to, whoa, minus 3 y. Because that's my slope here, see? And then we're going to take that, and we're going to multiply it by x minus, what's my x1? 4. Sure. Because it's right there. Had that been minus, that sign would have been plus, because minus and minus would make plus. Keep on keeping on. So now here I have y minus 2 is equal to, ooh, ooh, that's a minus 3x. Minus and minus make plus 12. And I'm going to put it into y equals mx plus b because that's the cheap and easy to graph and people are used to seeing it like that. y is a function of x. So then, what's next? I add the 2 here and I add the 2 there. So then, I have y is equal to minus 3x plus 14. Pigeon? 
Sure, why not? Oh, fat one. Yes. Man, that last one was for the birds. I don't know what you've heard, but bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word.